I'll get it. Wakey, wakey, Beth. Rise and shine. Ah, Jonathan, top of the morning to you. You're early? You're late. Oh, Christ. Well, just let me have a shower and you can unleash the sniffer dogs. That won't be necessary. I have decided to approve your claim immediately. That's great. How come? Simple, really. Just retracing the steps. Michael Allen. He breaks into his best friend's house, and having just removed the first load of goods, he finds himself trapped inside by the unexpected arrival of the now missing couple of his owner, Mrs. Beth Weeks. Hmm. Realizing that the game was up, he decides on a bit of fun. So, wielding the old uh, Sunday roast carver, he takes the joke a little bit too far, as usual. And his reward, oh dear, a six inch crossbow bolt right through the heart. And the mystery accomplice does not speed off into the night with the goods. What are you talking about? Well, the mystery accomplice stands patiently outside the opera house, awaiting the arrival of his faithful wife. What, what are you insinuating? I'm not insinuating anything, Johnny, old boy. I'm stating a fact. Your husband, Mrs. Weeds, is the mystery accomplice. Get out! Let's not get overexcited here, Johnny boy. Come on, let's discuss this like gentlemen. Get out! Sit! Don't make things any worse for yourself. I dropped my. Out! You forgot this. Well, goody. I'll swap you. The fork I gave you last night was a very good copy. This one, though, is for real. You shouldn't have checked your hiding spot, Jonathan. so simple. Spend half your life drowning in interest rates. 
dishing out stupid premiums and up to your hilt and mortgages. And then one day you come home after going out to dinner, your house has been stripped, and whammo, you can buy the new car. And it's simple. Everybody does it. Nothing could go wrong. Except you coming home. If it was all so goddamn simple, why didn't you just tell me? How many... Look, I didn't have a choice. I started putting words in my mouth. The insurance claim, the... The compass, the getaway car. I mean, what, what getaway car? I didn't know what to say, so I didn't say anything at all. I understand why you and Michael did it. I understand why you played along. I don't understand why you didn't tell me. No, oh, what difference does it make now? Whether it's fraud or perjury or manslaughter, I'm going to go to jail.